One of the most rewarding parts of my job as an anger management counsellor is that every day I get to talk to people who have experienced the negative effects of anger and have made the conscious decision to change their lives. Without exception, these people show a bravery that inspires me. I know that it is not easy to admit that you have an issue with anger, and I know that it can be even harder to take the steps to address it. Today I am talking to Leon, a 39-year-old man from a small town in the North Island of New Zealand who enrolled in my comprehensive online anger management program, the Complete Anger Management System, after his wife said to him that he had an anger issue. Although Leon was initially reluctant about doing an online course, he decided to give it a try to see if he could learn anything. As you will hear shortly, in just a few weeks, Leon made significant changes in his life. Perhaps most sadly, however, at the end of my interview with Leon, Leon talked with me about the effect of his anger on his three-year-old daughter. Leon told me that he wishes he could take back so many of his actions. This is something that I hear far too often. So many people wait until it is too late to address their anger. Don't be one of them. If you are struggling with anger and would like to break the destructive cycle of anger, abuse and violence, I can help you. If you let me, I will walk alongside you and help you control your anger, master your emotions and create calmer, happier and more respectful relationships. So, if Leon's story resonates with you, don't wait any longer. Reach out for help and start your journey towards a calmer, happier life today. Hello and welcome to episode 48 of the Anger Secrets Podcast. I'm Alistair Dews, and over the last 30 years, I've taught over 15,000 men and women how to control their anger, master their emotions, and create calmer, happier and more respectful relationships. In this podcast, I share practical strategies and real-life stories to help you control your anger, master your emotions, and create calmer, happier relationships. For free support on your anger management journey, including free training and the opportunity to book a free 30-minute anger assessment call with me, visit my website, angersecrets.com. I look forward to talking with you. Now, let's jump into today's episode, I Wish I Could Take It Back, Leon's Story. Without further ado, here's my interview with Leon. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm 39, I run my own custom leather carving business, and I enjoy hunting and fishing and camping and all the good stuff in life. What brought you to this anger management course? My wife asked me to do a course on anger management because she thought I was getting a little bit angry and I was trying to get some local courses and none of them were available and yeah, I bit the bullet and saw this anger management course online and I took the chance. Cool. Did you have an anger issue? Oh. Yeah, I get a little bit annoyed and that sort of thing, but I, I didn't think that I had an anger issue. Okay. And how was studying the course? Studying the course was good. I learned a lot straight away and I was able to focus on the course because I had a bit of spare time and plod along and go through it. And yeah, I learned a lot. The course was really good and, and it teaches you more than just how to do respond to your anger it teaches you about communication and relationships and all the other things that you need to be aware of yeah what do you reckon the first thing you learned from the course was the first thing i learned from the course was the tension scale and awareness i really think those are two early on things that i've focused on a lot say a bit more about the awareness side when you start feeling all the signs of anger, like your blood getting hot or your tingly skin and the feelings that you get when you start to get a little bit more annoyed and you can start focusing on those and starting to minimize them. Yep. 
Yeah, to so obviously reduce your tension and stress. Yeah. What changes do you think you've made since you started the course? I've made a lot of changes. My life has definitely changed and I find myself not getting angry anymore because I'm focusing on those awareness levels and the tension scale. I'm definitely not getting out of control angry of any description because I notice the signs and I'm almost calling them symptoms of anger because you start noticing the different feelings that you're coming across and then you can start your breathing and you can start cooling yourself down or take yourself away from a situation before you start getting angry so that you can focus on what the actual issue is. Yeah, that's really cool. And just, just tell me again, how much of an issue was anger for you in the past? When I was younger, I was a really angry young teenager and I've done an anger management course in the past, but I didn't really focus on it because I didn't think it was for me. I think I do stress out and get a little bit annoyed. But I think what I've learned from the course too is that other people notice what you're not noticing. And when they feel hurt or verbally abused or anything like that, then your anger has gone to a level that's hurting other people, even if you don't notice it. Yeah. So was that happening in your relationship? I'd say, yeah, it would have been. I, I probably didn't notice it as much as I can see it now after doing the course. Damn. My anger level, it wasn't as bad as it was in my past, but I definitely look back at it now and think because it hurt feelings of other people that it was at a level that I'm now not happy at the level that it was. So it sounds like your awareness of that has increased, has it? Oh, absolutely. I'm aware of it all the time and I can better calculate the level now so that I can control it better. Cool. Again, a greater awareness, right? So you're more aware of those tension levels? Absolutely. The more aware that you are of the tension levels, the better, because you're noticing it before it's getting out of control or hurting other people. Yeah, hundred percent. What's something else you picked up from the course, do you think? There's actually quite a lot in the course. It's hard to put it down to one thing because it's a really good course and there's a lot of it. Yeah, you've done a great job on the course, to be honest. I think a lot of it, communication is something that I was failing on too. And th there's topics on communication in the course and just how to not make it all about yourself and that there is more than just one person in any conversation or argument or anything like that. And that's before you even get into the heated levels of an argument to become angry. And I think that's definitely something that, I, once again, I'm aware of now that I wasn't aware of in the past is just... Yeah, it's not always about you and you don't know how the other person is reacting to the words you say or the tone of voice you're using or just even those can cause a conversation to become a heated discussion. What, what else have you learned about communication? Anything that comes to mind? Listening. How to listen to others. And I think that was something that I wasn't doing a lot of and I wasn't aware of it because I'd never really been associated with listening as such and I think it's something that a lot of people don't do especially in a relationship because you've been with a person for so long or you're just around them all the time and you just start fobbing off the information they're giving you but it actually doesn't hurt to sit down and listen to what they have to say because that's how they feel it's just like when you have have feelings about a situation or you've had a hard day and you want to vent a little bit by voicing your opinion on your day and you've got to allow that in the return yeah it's very true isn't it? it's very true and powerful leave through that what would you say to someone who might be listening to this and thinking about doing the course but not sure what would you say to that person i was skeptical in the beginning i have to be honest but once i actually bit the bullet and started the course i wouldn't change it for a thing and i would absolutely recommend it to people that i had any anger or relationship troubles in their past, because it's not just an anger management course. There's a lot more to it. And I definitely think people should join the course because it helped me a lot and really quickly. And I'm able to go back over the course whenever I feel I need to and revise it or do the course again, just for a refresher. I definitely recommend it. How quickly do you think you made changes? For myself? 
actually probably the first couple of days because I was focused on the awareness and the tension scale. And I think I focused on that quite a lot because it meant a lot to me. And as soon as I read the part of your course, I can't remember what section it was, but it was to do with how the other people react and feel. And it's a type of abuse that really got me deep because I never wanted to do any kind of violence or abuse even to my family. And even the abuse of words and tone of voice can affect people more than you realize. And I think that really struck a chord in me and made me start thinking and change really quickly. So, so you're saying your family were probably affected by things like your tone of voice and you weren't even aware of that? Absolutely. Anything else you'd like to say? I'd like to add the positive self-talk and together we created a, a positive self-talk called precious self-talk, which I really think is important where you focus on something that you hold near and dear to your heart and is the most precious to you and something that you want to change for, like your, your children or your partner or something in your world, in your life that is the most valuable thing to you that you can't even think of living without. And that, that will definitely guide you every time you start going up a tension scale or having self-doubt or any of those sort of things. Absolutely. Positive self-talk and precious self-talk. And what was that for you? What, what did you hold close to your heart? Um, my three-year-old daughter. She means a lot to me. She's an amazing young, young child. My other two are amazing as well, but the teenagers, they do their own thing now. They're really good kids. But the preciousness of the toddler, yeah, it's something to hold, to hold close. Yep. And was it something about the effect on her that you're talking about? I just think that... I don't want her to be around any of that sort of aggression level or anger or abuse. I never want my daughter's fear in any kind of abuse. And I think the course has just shown me that I was a little bit verbally abusive. I wasn't physical, but I was definitely a little bit with the tone of my voice and maybe some of the words that I'd say, they weren't quite appropriate for family members. And when it affected them, I wasn't noticing it. And that's a form of abuse. And I didn't realize it, but I do now. And I wish I could take it back. Okay, firstly, I'd like to thank Leon for sharing his story. It is a brave step for anyone to address anger issues in the way Leon has. And it is an even braver step to speak about these changes publicly. Remember, if you would like to make the same changes that Leon has and learn how to control your anger, master your emotions, and create calmer, happier relationships, I can help. Visit my website, angersecrets.com, and book a free 30-minute anger assessment call with me to discuss how I can help you best. As Leon says, it's not always easy to recognize how your anger affects those around you. But by understanding yourself better and being more mindful of how you control your anger and how you communicate with those around you, you can make huge changes to your life and create happier, calmer, and healthier relationships. Okay, that's all for today's episode. If you found this episode helpful, please follow this podcast, head to your favorite podcast app, and leave a rating and review. This will help other people struggling with anger find and benefit from this show. Remember, for free support on your anger management journey, including free training and the opportunity to book a free 30-minute anger assessment call with me, visit my website, angersecrets.com. I look forward to helping you control your anger once and for all. And finally, remember, you can't control other people, but you can control yourself. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. The Anger Secrets Podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of counseling, psychotherapy, or any other professional health service. No therapeutic relationship is implied or created by this podcast. If you have mental health concerns of any type, please seek out the help of a local mental health professional.